Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. I am Insane Ian, comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this is sort of an emergency episode because uh, yesterday, Epic Rap Battles of History released the new Epic Rap Battle of History, and I had already had a video scheduled for today that already went up, it was the uh, my reaction to Ninja Sex Party's The Decision Part 2, the 10 years later version. Uh, and But now I have to do this thing because I have a video scheduled next week. And honestly, people have already been commenting and wondering if I'm going to do this yet. So here's this thing. I'm already ready to be festive in my Die Hard Christmas sweater. Ah. But anyway, this has nothing to do with Die Hard. This is J. Robert Oppenheimer versus Thanos. N now, I'm going to have to check because I I'm pretty sure I know who J. Robert Oppenheimer is. I think he's the guy who created the atomic bomb. But let's find out. J. Robert Oppenheimer. Theoretical physicist. Huh. And kind of ironic that I mentioned Ninja Sex Party because Ninja Brian was a theoretical physicist. Uh, was an American theoretical physicist and professor of physics at the University of California, Berkeley. Um, did, uh, did he, uh, why do I think, why do I feel like he created the atomic bomb? Okay, uh, among those who are credited with being the father of the atomic bomb for the role in the Manhattan Project, the World War II undertaking that first developed the first nuclear weapons. Uh, so yeah, he was the wartime head of the Los Alamos Laboratory and is among those who are credited to being the father of the atomic bomb. So yeah, uh, Oppenheimer created the atomic bomb, Thanos, uh, Infinity Gauntlet Snap. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to watch this thing now. I thought that's who it was, but yeah, I had to make sure. It's in purple. Mushroom cloud behind him. The mask is a little rough. I don't know if he quite got the voice for it. It's not, I mean, it's hard to do a Thanos voice. He's basically just doing a Josh Brolin impression. But, uh, that mask was barely moving, and he was just kind of, like, breathing those bars out. It was kind of weird. Try that again. Of course, it starts with I Am Inevitable, because that's the last thing he says before. Spoiler alerts happen. Uh, let's try that again. And he moves kind of stiff. I am inevitable, immeasurable, inexorable, monstrous, with bars weighing on you harder than your haunting guilty conscience. I am Thanos, and I crush tracks like tesseracts in my palm. You're a pistol pushing terror, and you never learned to love his balls. At least they made him tall. On your world, you were a prodigy. Well, that makes sense. Such your rise are only hot periodically. Man, I brought <laughs> the Avengers down to Embers. Sent half your planet to be slaughtered. And now I'm off and off and higher like I did to my daughter. Got a physical when I'm rapping. Off and up and higher like I did to my daughter. You know. Peace out to Gamora. We miss you. Uh, yeah, uh, this is a little shaky here. Uh, so far, like even the, like I have to admit, the matchup didn't sound like it was going to be that great to me to begin with. Uh, so, I'm not feeling this already. Uh, hopefully this will get a little, a little hyper. A little more hype. Come on, come on. Sending half of your planet to be slaughtered. Obviously, when he snapped everybody, half the world went away, half the universe went away. If you haven't seen the uh, Avengers Infinity War or Endgame, spoilers. It's a lot of them. Like I did to my daughter, got a physical when I'm rapping. Six infinity jumps when I'm packing. Stick your tiny nuclear dick back into your pants, Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dr. Manhattan is pretty good. Because that's a, I mean, it's a DC thing, but it's Watchmen, but it was the Manhattan Pro He was kind of named similarly to the Manhattan Project because of the whole nuclear thing. Uh, that's a good rhyme. That, that's a decent bar there. I'll, I'll give him that. Uh, and, and, and now his tempo is picking up a little more, and his voice, his inflection sounds like he's getting a little bit more into the rap, which is what I was hoping for. You know, yeah, Thanos is kind of, like, laid back in a lot of his speech and stuff, but 
It's a rap battle. Come on. Got a fist of gold when I'm rapping. Yeah, it's the gauntlet. Also, does Dr. Manhattan's wang is always hanging out? That's the other part of that rhyme. Uh, smashing your atoms best not collide with me. Atoms. Uh, physics jokes. Wee! Best not collide with me when I'm riding, cause you break and bleed so easy. I think I'll call you off and hide. It's impossible oh. to Tommy Abbey. You just don't have a stone. Apparently, the only thing you're good at wrecking is a home. Cause you suck with your friend's wife. Right there in your friend's bed. Then got another married girl pregnant. You should have gone for the head. Oh damn. Okay. Didn't know all of that. Uh, mm, didn't know all of that about Oppenheimer, and uh, that's pretty savage. And then should have gone for the head. Double entendre. Wonderful. That's actually really good. Okay. His first verse started out low and really picked up at the halfway point of that first verse. All right. I'm on board. I'm on board now. I'm on board now. I'm on board now, Abby cat over there. Listen to you took everything I have left. <laughs> After your raps, I am become death. I am become death, is what Oppenheimer said when he created the bomb. I think it was Oppenheimer who said it. It's a famous phrase. We know it in association with the atomic bomb and all of that. That's good. That's good. It sounds like he's like being filtered through like a phonograph or something like that because it, whatever. And an iron man for that wrinkly ass skin and that <laughs> butt, 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 chin. Go now. <laughs> you need an iron man for the wrinkly skin to smooth it out. And the butt chin. I don't know why we had to have butt fill out all of that, but sure. Where's your rhythm? I thought you were at the time stone. Your punch lines sound like they came from Rhyme Zone. You might be talking to MCU, but between us, who's the worst MCU? The dialogue got too many breaks in the story. You talk so slow, Brack thinks you're invisible. There's a lot of good stuff there. There's a lot of good stuff there. He's pulling a lot of MC, uh, st uh, MCU stuff. Uh, that Rhyme Zone line is perfect. For people out there who don't know, Rhyme Zone is a website where if you type in a word, it'll give you all the other rhymes for that word. Uh, some rappers use it. Uh, some other people use it, and uh, I'm not saying it's a great source. It's not. It really isn't. But it's not a bad source uh, if you can't think of anything, if you're strapped for, like, a rhyme. It happens. It just happens sometimes. There's no shame in the game. Not... I'm, I'm saying I'm not ashamed of using it. Also, who's a bad MC? You? That's perfect. You, you, so bad Drax thinks you're invisible? These are... That is, this is not bad rhymes. It's not bad lines. Uh, uh, Oppenheimer is coming with some fire here. I cause chain reactions when I'm lyrical. Cause I've got that fissile material. You were born to eternal. But came out looking so scary. That your own mother tried to make you a temporary. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've mastered the atom more than any man alive. Now I'm here to split you like two and three from five. I'm a peaceful man. That seems like a physics joke that I don't get. I'm sorry. You from two and you and two and three from five. Somebody else explained that one to me in the comments. That seems like it would be something because it was specifically a U, not Y-O-U. So, math is not my strongest thing. I was okay at physics in high school. I tried it in college and it wasn't for me. Uh, that sounds like I mean drugs. I meant physics, but sure, that one seems odd. I'm gonna do what I'm not. You had an evil plan, Thanos, and it left you in the dust. It must leave you in rage. Nice. That's a deep cut. The Thanos Copter is ridiculous. It showed up in comics. It's a thing. Thanos has his name on his helicopter. Like he's... Yeah, I, wanted, I don't want to say the name of the person, individual one, who would probably have his name on his copter or on anything else, like his buildings. Uh, anyway, no. Yeah, that's a thing from the comics. Everybody wanted that in the movies. 
If there's not a line in here about Ant-Man uh, going small and going up Thanos' butt to expand and kill him, this is a missed opportunity again. Because, I mean, because Ant-Man is similar to the Atom. I mean, Ant-Man came before the Atom. The Atom being the DC character who can also shrink in size. Uh, so there's that connection that they could possibly make there, just from a nerd point of view, which is clearly what I am. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if they, they go there. You just got no answer for Fortnite's dopest dancer. <laughs> I'm a Loki choke you out like my name was Throat Cancer. Thanos was in Fortnite. It's true. I want that event to come back because it was super fun. And I also got to snipe Thanos with a sniper rifle. So that was also kind of neat. And weird. You want to talk about death? How about the one that looked at you with swept left? <laughs> I'll destroy your worlds. You got your nuts handed to you by a squirrel girl. Two comic cuts, not just MCU things there. Death looked at you and swiped left. The whole point of the Infinity War, the Infinity Gauntlet, is he getting it to impress Death. Death is female in the Marvel Universe, and he wants to date her. That's literally what Thanos' deal is in the comic with the Infinity Gauntlet. They kind of give a hint to that in the first Avengers movie. Uh, to fight them would be to court death, and that's why Thanos turns and smiles uh, the first time we see him when he's just a CGI dude. Um, meaning there's no actor behind him because it was just that. Uh, and then you got your nuts handed to you by a Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl in the comics is super, super strong, has defeated both Doctor Doom and Thanos by herself. Yeah, you don't mess with Squirrel Girl. She's the unbeatable Squirrel Girl for a reason. She's awesome. Uh, anyway, I like those moments because that's comic stuff, not just cinematic universe stuff. I'm a nerd. I'm a big nerd. And I'm blending in with the green screen on the background for some reason. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I called it! Thanos did nothing wrong, crap, has obviously never heard you rap! Oh, snap! Hold on! Who's down? You got down! I called it. I called it. They had to do it. Oh, and they snapped the logo away. And it doesn't come in. That was decent. Not my favorite one. My favorite one of the recent ones is probably the one from before, the, the Joker and, and Pennywise. That one was probably my favorite of the recent ones, but this one, after it got started, it wasn't it wasn't bad. Thanos' first verse like started real kind of weak, and then it picked up halfway through, and then the rest of the way through was decent. There was a lot more Marvel stuff in either of their bars uh, than there was stuff about Oppenheimer. They kind of, like, they, they did a couple jabs at Oppenheimer, like that whole incestual, not, not incestual, but the whole, uh, I, I can't think of the word, infidelity. That's the word I'm looking for. Not incestual, infidelity. There's a fine line between incest and infidelity. <laughs> that sounds like a song title. Uh, yeah, no, the the whole thing about his infidelity and all of that, that was, you know, and, and you know, a lot of Oppenheimer's uh, phrases and theoretical uh, physics things in here. I'm bad, bad with words for some reason right now. But uh, I don't think there was enough about Oppenheimer in this battle versus what there was about Thanos. Or maybe I just didn't notice it because I know more about comics than I do physics. Because priorities whatever. Anyway, that was cheerful for Christmas. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, be sure to check out the actual ERB video. Link is in the comments, in the description below. Not the comments. I'm, uh, that's weird. Um, also, if you like what I do, give me a like, give me a, a subscribe, leave a comment, say stuff, do stuff. Happy holidays, everybody. This was out of nowhere, and, and now it's here for you to watch. Thanks! Bye. <laughs> Does it work well with a team? Unless it's his parody. Sharp as pepper and happy as well. Iron Man, please listen to